Tough Fit Yogi. Today I'm going to share with you guys a short and energizing flow. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. Just take a moment here to arrive on your mat, your hands together in prayer position in front of your chest. On an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead for a full body stretch, stretching out as long as you can. On an exhale, lower the arms down behind your back, pressing the palms together and opening the chest towards the sky. Bring the arms back around the front to heart center. Raise your arms up overhead, taking hold of your right wrist and leaning the body over to the left for a lovely stretch down the side of the body. Come back to center, taking hold of your left wrist now, leaning the body over to the right, enjoying that stretch down the left side of the body. Coming back to center, bring your hands to prayer position, sweep the arms up overhead and come down to forward fold. Now this is your first forward fold, so don't expect to have your legs straight here. You can take a micro bend in the knees as you hinge at the hips and just allow the body to hang down, taking hold of the opposite elbows if that feels comfortable and just swinging around in a figure of eight. Place your hands firmly on the mat, bring yourself back to a plank position and lower yourself down into a tabletop position. We're going to do some cat cow stretches here. So on an inhale, dip the belly, gazing forward into cow. Exhale, rounding the spine, gazing at the belly into cat. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round it back. Come back to center, tuck your toes and just gently push yourself up into your first downward facing dog. Just gently pedal out the feet here. Don't expect your heels to come close to the mat as your first downward dog. Just start to walk out your dog. And just relax in this downward dog and take a few calming breaths here. On an inhale, sweep the right leg up and step the foot forward between the hands. Sweep the arms up either side of the ears into warrior one, making sure the knee is stacked above the ankle. Sweep the hands down, stepping back into downward dog again. Relax for a breath. Roll yourself gently forward into plank or come to your knees if you prefer. And you're gonna lower down to your knees and come all the way down. Roll yourself gently up into a baby cobra, making sure the elbows are tucked into your sides. Pressing down through your hands, come back into your downward facing dog. Make sure your fingers are spread out. Sweep the left leg up, step the foot forward between the hands and bring your arms up either side of your ears into warrior one. Just relax for a couple of breaths here. Sweep the hands down, stepping back again into plank. Lowering yourself down through chaturanga or through your knees and then come up into an upward facing dog or cobra. Pressing back into downward facing dog. Just take a few steps to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring your hands to prayer position and you're back into Dasana. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. Hinging at the hips, lower yourself down into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back into plank or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, slowly back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep your right foot up and step it through between the hands. This time you're going to windmill the arms up into warrior two. Warrior two, your hips are facing to the side, 
arms are outstretched and you're gazing over your right hand. Lower that right elbow now to the right knee and sweep the left arm up to the side of your ear. Cartwheel the hands over into your reclining warrior. Gazing up at your right hand from underneath. Bring the hands back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg now. Kick the left hip out and lower yourself down into Trikonasana, your triangle posture. Keeping the chest open and bend the knee and come back into your warrior two. Windmill the hands down and come back into downward facing dog. Relax for a couple of breaths here and walk out the legs if you need to. On your next inhale, lift your left leg and step it forward between the hands. Windmill yourself up into warrior two. Gazing over your left arm. Take your left elbow down to your left knee, sweeping the right arm up to the side of the ear and just rolling the body upwards towards the sky. Bring the arms back through and into your reclining warrior. Gazing at your left hand from underneath. Bring the arms back to warrior two. Straighten out the left leg, kick out the right hip and come down into your triangle pose, opening out the chest. Your hand can come down either towards your knee, your calf or all the way down to the floor if that's comfortable. Sweep the arms back up. Cartwheel the hands down and step back into your downward dog. Rolling yourself forward into plank or come to your knees. Lowering through chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, slowly up into downward dog. And step or jump forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. And bring your hands to prayer position in front of your chest. We're going to come into a nice balanced sequence now. Feel free to put your foot down at any time. And if you wobble, just try again. Root down firmly through your feet. And keep your gaze fixed. Bringing your right foot up, assisting it if you need to. Sweeping the arms up overhead. Interlacing the fingers and pushing the palms upwards towards the sky. Gazing forward. Bringing the hands back down to heart centre, pressing them together for stability. Unhook that right leg and twist it over the left. Bring the right arm underneath the left. The backs of the hands can come together or the palms if you're comfortable there and then just lower yourself down like you're sitting into a chair. As you raise yourself back out of eagle, prepare for your Lord of the Dance pose. Hinging at the hips, you're gonna push the right leg out behind you, taking hold of the inside of the right foot, drawing the chest parallel to the earth, pushing into the hand with the instep of the foot. And come out of the pose into Tadasana. Just adjust your feet here. This time taking your left leg up, either at the shin or assist it up into the thigh, pressing those palms together for stability. Sweep the arms up on an inhale and interlacing the fingers, push them up overhead. Find your gaze. Bring the hands down to prayer position now. Release the leg and cross it over the right leg, crossing the left arm underneath the right. And pressing the backs of the hands together or the palms, you're going to sit down as if you're sitting into a chair, balancing on one leg. Eagle. Release the leg. And take hold of the inside of your left foot with your left hand. Hinging forward at the hips again, with the right arm out in front of you. Into your dancer pose on the other side. Release the foot. Hands to heart centre and you're back to Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank or chaturanga. Lower yourself down. 
onto your belly. Baby Cobra. Lower your head down. I'm going to prepare to come into our locust pose now. So just raising the arms in front, raising the legs out behind. Lower it down. Inhale, raise the arms up, raise the feet. Lowering down. If you're happy there, you can do another locust pose. Otherwise, join me in bow pose, taking hold of the inside of the feet and pushing up, opening the chest. And taking hold of the inside of the feet gives a nice opening in the shoulders. Lower yourself back down. Rest your head for a moment on your hands. Roll it from side to side. Pressing yourself back through a child's pose and up into a downward dog. Step your feet forward to the front of your mat and just hang here for a moment in ragdoll. Just going to lower yourself down into a seated position and then roll your spine down onto the floor. Prepare to come into bridge. Your fingertips should be grazing the backs of your heels. Press your hips upwards towards the sky, engaging the glutes and the thighs, making sure the knees are pressing towards each other. And lower yourself back down. Get ready to come up again, pushing with the hips towards the sky. This time, if you'd like to, you can snuggle the elbows in underneath and clasp the hands together, pressing the palms towards each other. Lower yourself back down. Now, if full wheel is part of your usual practice, you can join me in a full wheel pose. Otherwise, stay in bridge pose, ensuring that you press your knees together and engage your glutes. Remember to breathe. Just feeling that nice release in the spine. Wherever you are, very carefully lower yourself back down. Taking hold of the toes or the outsides of the feet, or if you can't quite reach, take hold of the shins and just relax here in happy baby. If it feels good for your back, you can rock gently from side to side, feeling the earth massaging your spine. Lower the feet down to either side of your mat, keeping a bend in the knees. Spread the arms and just take a windshield wipe with the knees here. Just gently flopping the knees from side to side, just feeling a gentle release in the spine. And just taking hold of your knees, pivoting at the feet, just making some very gentle circles. And then lowering the legs back down for our final Shavasana. Opening the palms skywards. All the hard work is done now. So just relax here for a couple of breaths. Using your breath as your anchor to bring your mind back to a state of calm. Whenever you're ready, roll yourself to your favorite side become aware of your surroundings. Push yourself up to a tall seated position. Just take a deep inhale, raising the arms overhead. Inhale, let it go. One last inhale, let it go. Thank yourself for this time. Wish you a lovely day. Namaste.